Hi guys, Rob A46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP23 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We are going to Hereth next with the Repsol Honda. We know that all the races are going to be dry, which is good. It's about time we had some dry races. Let's go. Right, let's head out and see how we go in qualifying Q1. What can we do? How many crashes will we have? that lovely Honda wobble. See, this lap isn't gonna challenge anything at the moment. wide I mean considering there's still loads of red sectors on the screen that obviously doesn't bode too well Still on provisional pole somehow at the moment. Should be a much better lap. There we go. Phase seven two. We are through by one point two. Is a bit strange, but hey hope we are through Marquez down in ninth. He's gonna be starting four from bottom. Right, Q2. Um No, I can't use a I can use another medium front. See how that goes. Actually we better change our rear as well. Okay. See how we go in Q2. Can we do a similar lap time? Oh 
Okay. Miller has just come out on track. way he will pull away from me which is fine or not as soon as he doesn't get in the way might just get away with us, you know. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Thirty-six nine. Okay, so I went a bit quicker than we did in Q1. And, uh, yeah, now we're 2.2 clear of everyone else. It's about time we had some good luck. Right, sprint race time. Bassinini's got his waterproofs on for some reason. Let's go. Even though the temperature has come down, I'm still going for a hard front just because the, the medium under heavy braking was overheating, especially on the left hand side. Okay, away we go. Decent enough start. Still lost positions though, of course. Okay, so we're down to 7th. And around the outside there is obviously not going to work. Get on the inside curb and somehow overtake. Oh! That was annoying. My corner speed was much higher than Miller's there and, uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out. They are wide there. Vinales leads. Bassinini in second place. Come on, like that. No. Okay. Yeah, that was a good overtake. Just one more to go to try and get Vinales.
Oh. You get wide on that right hander there. Oh, he's gone wide again. And he's gone wide again. Oh. There's been times in real life when uh, Vinales has had the, the right height device stuck on. I was wondering if that was happening to him in the game then, because he's going wide through quite a few of the corners. Okay, we've got the fast slap of the race so far. That was a very bad exit. The closing speed there is mad. Again, he's gone wide. It'll probably go wide again then, I'm guessing. So he gets it to the outside curve. He's wide again there. Have we got him? Trying to go around the outside right, we got him. Two laps to go. Push a little bit more. Okay, we are pulling away. Right, one lap to go, we got a one second lead. Bastianini's in third. So, I'm going to close in a little bit on him, not a huge amount though.
Okay. Winning the sprint. That'll do. But now we've got to do it all again for the main Grand Prix. So yeah, Vignales second, Bastianini third. Marquez way down outside the points. Bagnaia outside the points as well. Last point scorer was Bezeki. So now we move up to third place in the championship, but we're still 31 points behind. 20 points behind Vinales. Still fifth in the teams. And third in the constructors. But that is very close to the constructors, to be fair. Right, park firm eight. And then time for the main race. Which I'm hoping will be dry. Well, it is going to be dry. So we don't need to worry about that. Alright. Let's just hope we uh, manage to keep the front end all up to uh, how it should be. Okay, time for the main race. We'll go for hard front again, medium rear again. This is just in the medium as well, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's see what we can do. We're going to have to do some more overtaking because they will get me by turn one. Obviously, we will have to use power mapping two. Oh, that wasn't a good start at all. The uh, lights kind of caught me off guard a little bit there as we get hit a little bit wide by uh, Alex Marquez there. And we have that lovely wobble. So now we're outside the top turn. Oh, trying to go on the curve is not going to help the situation. So Zarko leads. Okay. Oh, wasn't trying to get a leash there as well. I don't think it's worked. Or am I done? He's going to go wide. Even using a lower power map and they're going wide as Vinales regains the lead. And Zarko messed up that. Trying to get two for one there, but we are up to third. Say Zarka's gonna have the straight line speed anyway. Get him into turn one. Yes, okay. See if we can stay with Vinales here. Oh, nearly hit the back of him. Again, we were a lot quicker into that corner. He's going to go wide at the next one, I'm sure. Nearly hitting him again. The front end wobble then 
from the Honda as we try to get up the inside through Ferrari and we've made it stick. It's a good move. Probably lose out on the straight. No, not this time. Go so careful into this corner because we've got to negotiate it a lot more this time. I'm not getting rid of Vinales at the moment. Mar Marquez not inside the top eight at the moment. So we try to pull away from Vinales. Okay, into the next lap, too hot in the term on that. Oh, and that again. Okay, gap's going back up. So Vinales still second. Sarko still in third. Bastianini in fourth. So we will get a few more points back on the Beast. Well, and Vinales. Only five on Vinales at the moment, though. Yamaha high up in six. Loads of fuel to play with at the moment, which is fine.
Okay, another lap ticked off. On to lap six of nine. You can see the uh, the Honda thinking about wobbling sometimes into turn two. We've got a, over a two second lead now. So we have definitely broken Vinales, which is good. Okay, just three laps to go, including this one. Bastianini still down in fourth position. Bangiao's really not having a good season, is he? Oh, there it is, massive wobble, managed to save that one though. That was a very violent wobble, I don't know how we managed to uh, stay on, but we did. Which I'm very happy about. Just felt like I was going about my business and then BAM! Welcome to Wobble Town. Destination? You. I'm hoping Vinales will not start catching me now. We will have to go careful though. I mean I've got power map in three on now so we should be fine. Alright coming up to where we had that moment. better. Okay. One more lap.
gap staying around 1.4, so I think Vinales has upped his pace. Marquez is now up to 8. Still 1.4. I was about to say is the gap broken because it was on exactly the same time for a few seconds there. Okay, it's gone back up a little bit. Okay, let's just go careful through uh Oh bit of a rear end slide then. Okay, we're gonna win the main Grand Prix. There we go. The bike tried to throw us off. We managed to stay on. So yeah, Vinales was getting quick on that final lap, 37.8. I didn't have the fastest lap this time, that went, went to Bagnaia in 15th, so one point for Bagnaia. 37.1, Quattaro no points. Okay, Championship now. We're only 19 points behind, so yeah, we've made some good inroads there. Vinales only four points behind. Team Championship, we're up two positions to third. And then Constructors, we now lead by one. Wow. Right, let's have a look at that wobble again. So on the brakes, yeah, the rear kicked out. And then, oh, I just started going very, very badly. I had to pick the bike up to save it. And unfortunately, that meant too much uh, speed into the corner. And then we had to pick it up again as soon as we hit the gravel. But luckily, we did manage to uh, come back on track in the lead and stay there for the rest of the race. Okay, so park firm, mate. This time we will get to go on the podium as well. So after having a uh, few rough rounds with wet races, we finally get a double sprint race and the Grand Prix race victory. And yeah, we've closed right in on the championship as well, which is good. As you saw, we've taken the Constructors' Championship by one single point. That will change. Wouldn't surprise me, next round, probably two wet races. Just to uh, be annoying, but... We shall see. Or be wet qualifying and dry races, or dry qualifying and wet races. I'd rather have wet qualifying and a dry race rather than dry qualifying and uh, having potentially a decent starting position position and then it just going all very very wrong in the wet but we'll see see what happens there we go Haraf done for another season Oh, we get an achievement here. Leader role. Point of reference. Become manufacturer leader in career mode. There we go. Nice. So we are the team leader. Marquez, I'm happy for reps of Honda team, but Robert 46 should watch out at Le Mans. I'll try to recover quickly. You can do your best. It's hopefully not going to work, though. So we do go to testing next. And then Le Mans, which I can't look at the weather yet. But um, yeah, I'm sure that will be fine. So, leader of Honda. Okay, so bike development. Looking good. Aim at the sun. It's been completed. The packs will be applied at the next test session. Hareth. That's going to be interesting to see whereabouts on the team comparative board we are going to 
B. Um, obviously, we will have a couple of bikes to, to choose from at her ref test. But that will be next time. Let's look at the overall standing. It's all three categories. Moto 3, it is Holgado who leads away from on Chu now. Four points behind in second place. Uh, Bertelli has moved up 10 positions to third, only 12 points behind. And for Asato, it has dropped four pl uh, two places to fourth. Ricardo Rossi has moved up four places to fifth. So, the top... It's very, very close. The top 11 separated by 23 points. That is very, very close. Moto 2, Ayagura still leads away. He's got a big lead of four, uh, 34 points over Foggia in second. Vietti third. Pedro Costa is up to fourth now. Marcos Ramirez up six places to fifth. So Pedro Costa is uh, starting to get going now in Moto2. And MotoGP, Bastianini still leads away from Vinales in second place. We're in third, 19 points behind now. That was uh, much bigger at the start of this video. Zarco is fourth and Luca Marini is in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!